All right, YouTubers, Eric here, and uh, I just got off work, and I am about to start on a worm casting project. I gotta find my drink, though. I sat it down, and um, so I'm gonna get this and talk while I walk back here. So, um, like I said, just got off work, and Jace and Eric and I have been talking about doing our own worm castings and um you know there's a lot of different ways i think you can do that just in researching this so i've kind of read up some stuff eric jace have talked about some ideas and we are going to um use an old freezer so we had a large freezer that we had that went out and we bought a new one bigger than the one that we're going to use now and i said let's keep it because i may want to use it for possibly building something for worm castings or to raise worms so we do have a pond uh well we had a pond it's, it's about to dry up out there with this dry weather but uh you know when that pond is up we have you know fish and people sometimes like to come over and fish it's nice to have worms available but anyways uh, we wanted to be able to have some worm compost and also possibly some worm tea so it's going to be a learning process for us and uh i'm just going to kind of share our journey and so just getting off work i'm just going to run out here i'm going to get some measurements i'm going to show you this thing and uh get started all right, folks, so this is the old freezer. So when I say old, this was actually, um, this was actually in our house when we bought it. And that was 20 years ago. But it's got some water in the bottom here. A little, uh, there we go. Nice little tree frog hiding out. But what we're gonna do this is my idea. So my idea is there's a shelf is to either put some, Eric recommended some plastic crates, anything I can match this height with that, that water can come down, set three, maybe three tubs across here, Rubbermaid, whatever I can find that will fit at this height and I can put a plastic lid on. So basically, instead of one big thing of compost, it would be three separate tubs. The, re the reason I wanted to do three separate tubs is I want to be able to, um, if, if the worms reproduce and we need to move them, start a new colony or whatever, I want it to be, I'm not having to move a massive freezer full of dirt and compost to accomplish that. Plus, with my drainage, when the drainage comes out, let's just say, it gets clogged up with some worm casting, stuff like that. But things, if this thing's full of dirt uh, with just this compartment underneath, I'd have to empty it to get to it. If I do it in individual compartments on there, then I can actually take three of those containers one at a time out. And it's, it will be small enough that two people can lift that amount of dirt, pull it out, pull it out. So if we need to work on this drainage, um, we can if it's clogged but also we can transfer worms and dump compost easier and start a new compost. So that is my goal. Uh, we're gonna experiment with it. If this doesn't work great, we'll build something else. But the freezer's free, it's here. I'm gonna have to drill some holes in the lid, or we thought about drilling holes in the lid, but I think what we're gonna do, Eric made this suggestion, is let's just drill holes in the plastic lids and then we can keep this lid uh, cracked for airflow and uh but also to be able to keep rainwater out of it because we'll water it ourselves all that good stuff so that is going to be our journey today so i'm going to get some measurements i got my tape measure with me measure this see how deep it is how big of a tub i can fit in this freezer i'm going to move the freezer behind the rabbit barn because i don't where it's at right now i'll show you this it's kind of behind our barn uh, this is where they bring the cow into milk and here's the fence right behind me for the cattle. So it's, it, you can see it's kind of a narrow area. We thought about putting it back here to hide it, um, 
And I guess we still can, since I'm not gonna have to move it. Originally, we were thinking, oh, if we have to dump this or do that, we may need to move it behind the rabbit barn. But now with this concept of possibly doing three totes, we don't have to, because we can just lift it right here. So I may leave it right here. The plan is uh, to get this high enough on blocks that this drainage hole will constantly leak worm tea. Now, I know some people build it where they have a spigot, um, and we may do that. Um, I don't know. Um, you know, because with, with this dropping off on there, we definitely need to keep the the worm tea covered with, you know, from rain and all that stuff. But we're gonna talk about that in the project. We may end up doing something and putting a spigot in there, but if not, we're gonna use that as our drainage hole and let the worm tea come out. So uh, we will have to put blocks high enough for this freezer to sit on that we can put something under to catch that. So that's our plan, so here we go. All right, so. I'm gonna try to, ooh, my tape measure broke. I need to buy me a new one. I'm gonna do that while I'm out. But we're gonna measure this thing, and it looks like it's 10, a little over 10 inches, 10 and a half inches from the, from the floor, which leaves me 18 inches to the top. So I'd need a, about an 18 inch bucket of Rubbermaid and of course it can't be no bigger than no bigger than 23 inches and we'll measure this across and no wider than 61 inches so basically you know a 20 inch tub i can do a 20 inch tub that's 20 by um, Twenty by twenty-three by eighteen deep. So twenty by twenty-three by eighteen deep. Um, and if I can't find a twenty, then I could obviously do uh, a, a thirty tub. But I think um, I could do two thirty-inch tubs. The thirty-inch tubs filled with eighteen-inch. That'd be a lot of soil. So I may I may stick with the three smaller ones. So I'm gonna write that down. I need it 23 by 18 and maybe 20 inches wide. All right. All right, folks. Uh, no project goes without a trip to Lowe's. So I went to Lowe's. I bought two totes that were about $15 a piece. And um, I was going to do three, but they were small totes. And I looked at how many liters I could get of, of soil in, in these two versus the three small ones. And I think I can get some more in these two. So I'm gonna do two of these, okay? I've got um, a board that I'm gonna place on the blocks, eight inch block with a two inch board to match the 10 inch shelf. I'm gonna cut this board a couple blocks on the bottom lay the board down see if it's, <coughs> it fits so that these can sit on top of them and we can leak the tea out of the bottom of it into the thing and then we're going to raise it up so i'm going to cut this board real quick and we'll see what we what we have i know i need to be wearing my safety glasses <laughs> Always got something going on. Yeah. 
I'm gonna empty this water out. I can. I see it coming out down there. Hopefully that'll be worm tea when we get this fixed. And the worm tea is for compost like? Yes, it's a, a foliar fertilizer. So we'll be able to take the composted uh, dirt from the worms and we'll be able to use the worm tea. Got a curious one. Hello, October yeah, Grace. Okay. Woo, you're looking fat. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, um, what you need? You need to prop something under it? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Somebody else came up to see. Hello, Cleopatra. You're looking mighty big today. How are you, baby? How are you? Mm. Mamas. <laughs> so, we'll just give this a minute to drain and then we'll get back to the video. All right, so Danette and I talked for a few minutes and we think that the best thing to do is probably move it out from behind that barn and put it behind the rabbit barn. We just have easier access to it. We can still keep it in pretty much shade. Um, and so we're gonna use this handy dandy hand truck. Which has been very beneficial. Yep. And I can put it on there and roll it around there. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Let's go try it out. Hey, Ethel. So now we're out behind the uh, the rabbit barn, and this is where the worms used to used to be right here. We had a quail pen, and their droppings would stay saturated, and you could come dig up pi uh, pigs. I'm looking at the pigs. You could come and dig up big old red worms. So uh, we're gonna put this here, and uh, should be good. We'll see. Uh, so what 
we'll do is hold if it. I, if I can get that side, I can look. That's, that's my, this oh, shoulder is my worst shoulder. I have to. Bad, All you have to do is lift it like a triangle, straight up. Same thing on this side. It'll probably set when we get this one out. Move, baby, move. We also got to have the lean coming towards the. Yeah, that's good right there. Yeah. Towards, we have to have the lean coming a little bit towards that. So, all right, so we're going to put a block in the bottom. Scoot it back. Mm. Oh, Rob's trying to escape. Oh, where's he at? He's right here. I'm going to come around the side. No. Uh, they, they're all right on the wall, but don't let them jump on me. Of all the things on the farm, a tree bump. I just don't like them on me. I was traumatized. One in my back door one time when one jumped on me. Let's see. So... Come a little bit closer. Oh, there it goes. Shoo! Shoo, 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 go, go. He went, got him, he's gone.
Once you fill it with dirt, it'll sit. Right, and, and, and it'll have a gentle lean, and I'll put holes here for it to drain. Uh-huh. And so, how that will work. So, holes for drainage, I'll put some on the back and up here, that way if we have any, you know, where it starts to clog up down here, if it starts to fill up with water, we'll have some holes on the back side to drop out and just have to pay close attention to that. But um, the big question is, will I be able to get the lids on them in here? I've got to be able to get the lids on them. This is going to be tight. Before I testing so let's see that goes on that one goes on and i'd rather be kind of tight so it holds it in place so why do you need the lids inside there like that because you have to aerate them you need them you need them to have air uh-huh and uh there we go so those are on uh -huh. So I'll drill holes in the top, and if if a few worms escape, it's no big deal out of the top because they're going to fall into this tray, and they might fall in the bottom. If you see them and they're still living, you can throw them back in. If we lose a few, it's no big deal. But then that way you can take this and put a uh, um, you know a stick or something like that. Pop it. And since it's it's got a. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll have it set with a natural lean with the weight on it so it'll sit just like that. We can prop that, prop it open so you can have air move through there. And then just lift it up, you know, and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, try to keep it, you know, try to keep it where you have a, a rain deluge. It's not just going to pour into the, to the, into the top of the worms, you know, so, um, your other option is you can, you know, take this off, drill holes all through the top of this and let it aerate. But um, I think um, Eric, me and Eric were talking and Eric said, you know, why don't we just put them in the lids and we'll just try to prop the door open or we can put a block or a piece of wood that we can lodge in there and leave it sitting there. So it, it stays open enough to get some air. And we're gonna, this is just a trial for us to see if this works. I mean, this was free. Um, you know, you can drill uh, one uh, pieces of wood to the, uh, to the lid as it comes down, or just yeah. drilling one right here. Right. So when it comes down, it stops yeah. at the same point. Yeah, and I can I can just mount something where it's one sits, buys or like, like yeah. And um, you know, and then we can we can lay a brick on top so the wind don't blow it up or anything like that, and it'll be somewhat protected. You know, we'll have a drain plug in. We'll, you know, be able to put a small bucket down there and start catching tea. Um, would be the plan. If this, if this plug don't work, as far as uh, uh, sealing it up good, I can screw the plug in the bottom, and we can always unscrew it to let it out. But I think that plug will work for right now. And so the big question is going to be, uh, you know, pulling this off. So all we have to do is drill the holes. So that's what I'm gonna do now, and get that ready. And then it's gonna be building compost. And basically, you know, I'm gonna do some more research on this, but um, from what I've read, some of the easiest things to start it with is just paper, cardboard, wet it, wring it out real good, stick it in the bottom, add some sand, um, you can throw a little dirt in there. We've got some compo somewhat compost right there. Um, we can we can add some of that. But basically, um, give them some sand because worms actually need grit to digest. Didn't know that till I started researching this. Like chickens need grit. Um, 
but then when we are ready, you know, we can lift up the lid and then, you know, try to get this out with uh, dirt in it. We'll, we'll see how heavy it is once we put dirt in it, but two people should be able to lift this out of here be able to dump it when we're ready to dump it to move the worms over or start start new compost and store that compost the most importantly we're going to have some worm tea for fertilizer right. we're going to we're going to try and see how it does and and if we're successful at it and we can learn better techniques but this i mean this whole contraption is not going to cost me much money because i mean i did have to buy the tubs and uh, bought a couple blocks two dollars and something a piece um, in these tubs and uh, so I mean I maybe have you know 30 you know 40 dollars in it and and we'll have a container that holds plenty of fluid so that we don't have to we don't have to empty that out all the time we can look in here and see how much worm tea we've got and then empty it out so so what we got to do now is Drill holes. This way it'll be So this thing has ridges, you can see. So the water is gonna to flow to these bottom ridges first. But I am gonna put a few in the top ridges, so if, if this starts to clog, you know, hopefully if it comes to another hole, it'll, it'll be able to drain. But I'm gonna put, you know, several in that, in that bottom ridge to catch that water and let it start running out. several holes, you know, enough to, to run this water out. Just trying to think if I have enough holes and it's just kind of a learning process on how many, I don't want to do it so Swiss cheese that when I lift the thing up, the weight of it, of dirt causes that to, to give too much. But, you know, I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, about 36 holes in there. Um, mm -hmm. And so, here's one. Here's number two. So, on this end, I'm going to put the holes on the upper part of the ridge. So, you know. This, this will lay up against it. That way if the worms try to, you know, not saying they will, but I'll just put it on the upper part of the ridge so, so there's more airflow that might go through there. And I'm, I know I'm putting my hand under there, but I need to... <laughs> One lid done. Time to go. Thirty-five holes. 
drilled in each wood. I'm not going to say what dad's going to say. <laughs> Remember dad? What? You big dummy. You big dummy. Oh, I forgot to say. Woo! Christmas. Alright, so... We've got what we need, and this will be a test. If we have problems, if we need more aeration, we may have to make more holes, but that should give us some airflow. Those are on. And uh, all we got to do now is order some wigglers, some red worms, and uh, we'll see how it does. And um, we'll we'll keep, you know, when we get them, we'll get a video. We'll show how we're going to put the worms in and the compost, and then see if we have success. Um, I'm going to put this in the bottom of it in case I need it for that drain hole for some reason. I can stick it right here if I need it. But, the beginning of a Sears Best Kenmore worm composter. So this thing froze food for 20 something years. Mm-hmm. And now, it's gonna- Continue to give to us. It's gonna make poop. It's, Fertilizer. As someone might say in a bad word, that this freezer now is a piece of- Poop. Shishky. <laughs> as now, a- <laughs> Now it's going to make shishki. So, and pisky. Be a place for the worms to make shishki. <laughs> and we're going to take the shishki and to help us make shishki. <laughs> right. so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep you updated as soon as we get the worm. All right. So, we're going to close this video out. Part one. And, uh, part one. Um, and once we get the worms and we get that, we'll do a part two. But this is part one. Just pray for us that this works. If you have some comments or ideas and say that is not going to work, let me know. But it's a trial for me. So, anyways, thank y'all for watching and helping us on our journey. And so, hopefully, this will be a success for us. All right. A simple life is a much more enjoyable life. It's time to go eat. Mm -hmm.